Hey guys, it's Val here and welcome back to my channel if you haven't been here already. I have not made a video in a while and I feel like I say that every freaking time I come here to film a video and it's just, I don't know, sometimes I lack some kind of ideas on what to film. I know I can do story times but that kind of gets boring after a while and I'm not too sure if people want to hear my stories all the time or what have you or outfit of the days i'm just like i'm not a beauty guru I, I don't do makeup on this channel i've done it like once or twice and that was it but i thought why not just sit here and share with you guys a lot has been kind of going on in my life not bad not amazing but like interesting enough my life is always very interesting to say the least but i guess i'm just gonna sit here and just update you guys on what's been going on and basically like why I kind of took, had to take a little break. I'm sorry about this. If this bothers you, this was a little too tight. Um, but basically, I took a break. One, because I was just kind of out of ideas. And I really wasn't getting all dressed up or anything like that. I've been loving the no makeup kind of look. Um, today I have makeup because I did like a little special little secret project. I can't share with you guys right now. I should have vlogged it, but I couldn't. Um, it was just something for family anyways. For the past week, I guess, I mean, I feel like I haven't been here in a while and it's been just probably like a week or so that I haven't uploaded a video, but I, I don't know, it's probably a weird story, but the other day I was cleaning my room, kind of just getting ready for bed, just, you know, just like we always do. So as I'm getting ready, I, I was getting ready to go take a shower, that's what happened. Getting myself, I was getting my towels, getting, you know, whatever. So I was fixing my bed because... On my bed, I have, like, kind of a gap because I have to obviously get a new bed. Sorry of my life. Um, but I have, like, a little pillow there. And the pillow slides down every so often. So it was bothering me that it was kind of basically on the floor. And every day I would look at it and say, do it, you know, fix it. And I would never fix it. I would always stall. And then for some reason the other day, I just had enough and said, let me just pick up the, the pillow because if I don't do it now, I'm never going to do it. And it's just going to keep irritating me every time I walk by my bed. So I picked, like, I picked up the pillow by myself in my room. So as I was picking up the pillow, keep in mind the frame of the bed is what it hit. Um, okay, the mattress was up in the air as I'm, like, picking up the pillow. And I don't know what happened, but it dropped and as like and as the pillow dropped like in a perfect spot where I wanted it as it dropped I hit my hand this exact hand onto the wood part of the bed which is typical it happens all the time whether I'm just getting out of bed or just walking past my bed it happens and it hurts if you ever hit your hand on a wood bed or wood anything it hurts but I'm used to it so I just shook it off didn't think anything of it it was red obviously but I just went about my business, started collecting, like, you know, things so I can go take a shower. And I looked at my hand because it was throbbing and it wasn't normal. I looked down and my whole hand was purple. And I just, I kind of flipped out because I have such bad anxiety. I didn't, like, I've been trying to control it. So I was just like, Valerie, calm down. Don't freak out. You got this like just relax i'm here by myself everyone was already getting into bed trying to calm myself down and i'm like okay but then i started feeling kind of weak and it's kind of weird because although i'm anemic and everything but I, my health has been a-okay has been perfectly fine i haven't been sick or anything like that in a like a month which i'm proud of myself so i just didn't understand why i was getting kind of dizzy then i looked again at my like at my at my wrist at my like hand right here and it was like a stab I have no idea where I got stabbed how I got stabbed the bed is not sharp so the typical wood hitting me it's like no sharp edges it just you know when you hit wood but it was like a stab wound like when you stab yourself with a pencil like no I'm not saying go stab yourself with a pencil but stab your accidentally stab yourself with a pencil and it leaves kind of like that dent in your your skin and it just has like the pencil marking that's exactly what happened and I was just kind of confused like where did this come from like it wasn't there before suddenly it's just there and my it was stabbed my vein my vein I'm not a vein person. I hate veins. That's why I hate wrists. Like, I just, I hate veins. Like, it's just gross. I get queasy just thinking about it. But 
this vein was like throbbing and like puffed up like my whole this whole side of my hand was swollen and this whole thing was purple like really purple and really like the vein was control I looked at it and I got really really sick and if I didn't walk into the other room to get my aunt I probably would have fainted and no one would have known and I was just really, like, I wasn't freaked out, but, like, something in me was just, I couldn't. I just, like, I was smiling because I was trying to keep it together, but I kept going back, kept going back. And I was so freaked out in the inside because I was like, oh, my God, I don't want to pass out. And then my aunt finally came, and they didn't understand why I was kind of bugging out. Look, 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 look at my hand. And it was, like, really big up until she saw it in the light. This whole thing was swollen for about a week. It's still healing now. You can kind of just see it right here. It's still bruised. I have the the little... I'll insert pictures of, like, how it looked. But, oh my gosh. It hurts so bad. And even right now, like, I still can't really sleep on my hand, which, like, it sucks. But it I don't know if you guys have ever hit a vein, but you really do not want to hit a vein. It's the end of the world. I don't like veins, and that just, like, threw me over the edge. A little bit more, that vein would have popped, and I probably would have lost it. I was telling my aunt, thank God my mom was not up or around, because if my mom was up, she would have panicked. It would have made me have anxiety. I would have had a panic attack on top of all of this. So I was kind of grateful that she wasn't there for me at that time, because she over exaggerate so I probably would have had a meltdown but um nonetheless it wasn't that serious to go to the hospital I just worry because what if eventually my hand like as I get older or my hand starts to hurt because this is my right hand it's the hand that I actually do right with and I just get scared that like what if it's like a future blood clot or something like I just I worry about the dumbest things but you just never know and I'm just scared that one day I might have to have, like, surgery on my hand or... I know I'm thinking so far into it, but it really was the scariest kind of thing. Like, I've never hit an actual vein before. I've had my iPad literally hit my foot right after I got out of the shower. And I have veins like crazy on my feet, especially when you come out of a hot shower. And I've had that happen. And I've had my foot bruised, but nothing ever had stabbed a vein. And this was just pretty deep. I looked in the spot, my aunt looked in the spot, we still do not know, still to this day, what it was. I'm not trying to touch that area either. If the pillow falls, the pillow is going to stay on the floor, not touching it, or somebody else is going to do it, but that was probably one of the scary, well, the second scariest thing, because, I mean, the first thing was when I ended up in the hospital last year, but just very scary stuff. <laughs> Um, so that's why I've been MIA, and I'm, I apologize for disappearing, but I'm back. I just need more ideas, so let me know in the comments below if you got this far in this video. Let me know what kind of videos you would like to see. Do you want to see more inspirational videos? Because I love talking. That's why I made a YouTube channel, just to talk. Um, do you want to see story time videos? Do you want to see more outfit of the days? Because I love doing outfit of the days. Fashion is my kind of thing. Um, but I also love talking. I just, obviously, I've just been off track all the time. I just talk. I love talking. <laughs> it's probably why I have minimal friends. But, yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching and keeping up with me. I know I lost a couple of subscribers because I haven't uploaded and it kind of sucks. I feel like I'm going to be stuck on 600 or something forever. But, I mean, it is what it is. I have to be more motivated and, um... Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you'd like to see more story times. Let me know in the comments below. Story times, more outfit of the days, vlogs. I can try to vlog. Um, I don't... It's not that I'm not good at vlogging. It's just I don't... My friends... One of my friends, she just she doesn't care. She's always in my vlogs. You've seen her before, but... We do a lot of things, and sometimes we just live in the moment rather than, oh, let me take out my phone and record because I don't really use my camera. But just let me know in the comments below, please, please, please. And please subscribe if you haven't already because it'll make my day. And I can contribute to more. It will motivate me more to actually sit here and do more videos. So, yeah. Love you guys. See you guys in my next video.
拜。